It was 2001 when I was 7 years old. I always wanted to be a police inspector. I did not know what was about to come until I came to 11th standard. When everything changed, I was introduced to robotics, the field I never heard of or never even imagined would be able to study. With some luck and some hard work, I somehow managed to get into mechatronics in MIT. There I made my first robot without any know-how. It was an omnidirectional robot, which I made for a competition. I lost that competition, I came last, because my motors were all wrong for the requirements of the robot. Thereafter my friend Chitranj told me the basics of robots and motors, which I am going to explain to you today. And by the way, he was the winner of the event. First, we'll talk about brushed motors. So brushed motors are very cheap and are readily available everywhere. They are very robust and then can be used in any environment. Because of that, they have more wear and tear and have lesser life. They also use less current but because of that, they have lesser torque compared to brushless motors as well and they have very bad control over speed. Talking about connections, Connecting it with microcontroller is easier when it comes to motor, motor driver and the microcontroller. Now we'll go to brushless motors. Brushless motors have higher speed achievable and higher torque. Because of that, they use more current. This makes them three times costlier than brushed motors. They have better control over speed and have longer life. Yes, they are less robust and the connections are a bit more complicated when compared to brushed motors. Now we'll talk about servo motors. They have three terminals. First one is 5 volts, then ground and then data. They are very fast and they have continuous rotation motors engaged with gear reduction. Due to gear reduction, they have only limited angle of rotation. Because we have potentiometer inside a servo motor, we have a feedback mechanism which tells us at what angle our servo motor is. Talking about demerits, they need very accurate PWM signals and take more current with less holding torque. Now we'll move forward to stepper motor. They are easier to understand and they move in steps. There is no limit on angle at which it can rotate. They also take less current and give us more holding torque. Talking over demerits, they have only no feedback mechanism and also they are costlier than servo motors. 